Morning everyone. So we're going to start off as we normally do, a bit of wrist shaking. So it's a time of year when your joints start to get a bit stiff and rickety, like mine, mine have been. So you need to keep keep them as mobile as possible. So the warm-up exercises that we do can do that for you. And put your elbows into it a little bit. And then the shoulders. Okay, we're going to flex the knees, the arms and backwards and forwards, keeping the shoulders loose, no tension. And one arm forward, one arm back. Oops, forward a bit. So the most important thing to move is the waist. The waist is putting momentum into the movement. Then we're going to take it round the waist. So waist level only. And we're hitting on that important point of the back there, just in the middle of the back. Ming Men, one of the gates of the gate of life. Chinese acupuncture an important point. Again, the waist is leading the movement. We're going to wind the arms up. We're going to bring them up to this point here, just where your hand falls, lung one. Point. And then we're going to go back down. Turn up the toes. See in the rear view mirror then. Okay, then take a step forward, making sure your feet are hip width apart, push off the front foot onto the back and vice versa, letting the shoulders be loose. And you keep your head suspended by a piece of string, so the crown is lifted up, the chin comes in. The other leg, hit width apart, from the side, that's what's happening. Pushing off the front, onto the back and vice versa. Put the brake on, push. Okay, so we're gonna gently take the head from side to side. Back to the center, ear to shoulder. A lot of creaking going on at my end. And back to the center, drop the chin down. 
and take it back. Down. And back. Okay, let's shake the chin, drop the chin, circle the head all the way around if you can. I am actually being watched at the moment by a black cat who is sitting on the fence. And the black cat knows I don't want him in my garden because he frightens my birds and eats them or kills them, I should say. And you get to the front, rewind around the other way. So he's actually sitting watching me. He's a bit eerie. <laughs> you know when you get that feeling that you're being watched? Well, I am. And back to the centre. We're going to take a deep breath in, bring the shoulders up to the ears, holding the breath, and we have a go. And repeat two more times, breathing in, shoulders up, and we have a go. Last time. Fingers on the shoulders, we're going to rotate, touch the elbows together at the front there. This could be a war of minds going on here. <laughs> and reverse it. Pick your shoulders. Mm. Hopefully you can't hear that. Get the oil can out later. Okay, feet hip width apart. I'm going to circle the waist. And change direction. Okay, together, hands above the knees and push back. Perhaps it will become a Tai Chi cat. I'll have converted it. Okay, we're going to stretch down the back of the legs. We're going to circle the knees. Three or four times one way, and the same the other side, three or four times. Ooh, creaking ease too. This is the season for creakiness. Okay. Okay, if you can, if you need to hold on to something, we're going to do a wrist, uh, a joint. That thing down there on the end of your leg, an ankle exercise. <laughs> okay, round in a circle. One way and the other way. And shake it out. Same thing on the other leg. Put the weight through. Rotate the ankle outwardly. And inwardly. And give it a shake. And drop the fingers, push the palms to the ceiling, put the feet flat on the floor. Oh, it's a nice stretch. Okay, we're going to go up on the heels. So the heels will come off the floor. When we come down, we're going to bring the hands down toward the head. Again, push up. And down. So the heels are coming off the floor, pushing up. And down. Okay. Push the hands to the front. We're going to bend forward. We're just going to hang there for a moment, so just make sure you're safe. Go as far as you feel comfortable with. Holding it, you should be able to go down a little bit more. Okay, you're going to turn to one side, push down a little bit. And back to the front. 
and the other side, push down. to the front, then grab hold of the ankles, bend the knees, bring the chin down, uncurl. Last thing up is the head, step out and push the hips forward. Okay, come shake. Okay, we'll do the eight chigun together. Let's start off with your feet together. Just follow along, step out, hands are coming up into prayer position, down in front of you. Let your palms go, push the fingertips toward the screen. Turn the palms and the elbows in. Elbows behind, opening up the chest, palms together. Put your palms up into the Sky up on tiptoes at the highest point, down, head, ears, neck, back into prayer position. With the bend forward, push the palms to the floor. Push the palms away from you, circle them round. Come up, bring your tips opposite each other. Push the palms to the ceiling, take the arms behind. Bend the knees and come up. Push, turn, come in. Behind, arms together. Dip toes, down the ears. Push to the floor, push away from you, circle round. Fingertips push up to the palms of the ceiling, arms behind, bend the knees and come up. Last time I'm going to breathe. So, breathing in, turn the palms, breathe out. Breathing in, breathe out. Breathing in, tiptoe. Breathe out. Breathing in, push to the floor. Breathe out, circling. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Bend the knees. Breathing in. And breathing out. We can take three deep breaths, breathing in. Arms face the body as you breathe out. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. And close. Okay, so we'll just briefly go over what we looked at um, from section one so that you can keep that up. And we'll do that together. Uh, or you can watch me, it's entirely up to you. Uh, let me just adjust this. You need to see my head, do you? Oh, there we go. I'm just going to move this stool back a little bit. And we'll be fine then. Could be a bit of a bigger angle. There you go. Okay. So. your fist widths apart and step out I'm mirroring you so you're stepping out with your left foot fence in form hold the ball in t-step part the horse's mane three times On the board, white frame spreads its wings. Brush and push. Okay. 
You push. And the final brush knee push. So from here, you can do half a step up, elbow behind, stumble loot, squeeze, which is what we were looking at last week, section two. We're going to do you pulse the monkey. So the arm, turn the waist to look at your hand, which is behind you. Then bring the hand to the ear as you step through with the toe down only. I put weight into my back leg, my heel goes down. I'm going to push my hand over the front hand and elbow behind. Open both palms, palms up to the ceiling, hand to ear as the toe goes behind the other foot, out to the side. Push. See my toe coming down at the same time as that goes to my ear. Push. I think I have to shuffle a little bit. Turn the waist, look at the back hand, hand to ear, toe goes down, transfer the weight, push over the front hand, elbow behind. Okay. So we go from strong loot. Strong the loot, we've done. So my right hand is in front, my left hand is in line with the elbow, the heel is on the floor. Turn. Look at your back hand, both palms face the ceiling, hand to ear as the toe comes behind me, behind the front foot to the side of. Push, elbow behind. Hand and foot. Push, transfer the weight. Hand and foot. Transfer the weight, push. Hand and foot. So I'll just go over the, what we learned, what we went over last week. Um, so we've gone from same time as the hand comes to the ear, you'll be able to see what's happening in the rearview mirror. Hand comes to the ear, my toe goes down. I'm not stepping behind my foot so that the feet are in alignment. Stepping to the side, but behind my foot. So my toe that I step behind with is just past my heel. Okay, which enables me then to put my foot down. And I'm slightly changing the angle and adjusting the front foot. So that goes down and then I adjust the front foot. So you're still ended up in a bow stance, but it's not as wide as the previous one when we're going forwards. Okay. So one more time. Foot, put the back foot down, changing the angle, push over the front hand. Elbow goes behind, but it doesn't go so far behind that it makes the shoulder rise, keep the shoulders down. Hand and foot, foot down, push. Hand and foot, foot down. Last one, hand and foot, foot down. Okay, so we end up having done four repulse the monkeys. Then I'm going to turn, just to, to, I'll just show you this bit before we do anything else. I'm going to turn on, put the weight on, turn my foot towards the screen. I'm going to go into hold the ball in T step. Familiar territory, okay? So this will be your left foot. My right foot, I'm putting weight into. I'm going to turn all the way around. I'm going to do ward off. So I'm doing this forward facing, holding the board. Heel comes down, change the weight. So your front knee bends, and your arm is making enough room for a beach ball. Okay, that's your protective area. Your wrist is sort of in line with the mid chest. On the, on the sternum. The other hand, fingertips face forward. And there's enough room under each arm for an egg, chicken's egg. On the side, it looks like this. 
One knee never goes any further than my toe. Okay. Any further than my toe. The knee and the toe should be fairly much in line. You'll find also that your shoulder is also in alignment with everything else. Important things to note are not to let the knees collapse in. So you want to have that beach ball between the legs also, which allows them to push out, rotate outwardly. It's talk, talking with a cue. Uh, okay. And that allows also your tailbone to sink. Okay. So check your shoulders are not up here, everything's relaxed. I think I'd go into a roll back. So this is ward off. This is an upward energy, meaning that the emphasis on the movement is on this top part, upwards. I'm going to turn my waist, and I'll do this toward the mirror to show you that it's in a different angle. I'm going to turn the top hand down, the bottom hand up. Then I'm going to turn my waist. Remember, it's the waist that moves. What I'm not doing is this. There's my, uh, there we are. So the point of this movement is this, that you've got someone's arm. But if I hold someone's, if you hold someone's arm on the top there, they can quite easily go like that, take their arm out, right? Likewise, if you hold their hand, arm under the bottom, they can take the arm out quite easily. But if you hold them at the top, on top and underneath, above and below the joint, then you have a lot of control over what they're doing not as easy to escape. Okay? And the idea is that we're turning away and you're taking the person past you. Roll back. So it's not me going, my belly fans in there, to the side. So the weight goes more into the back foot. The waist is turning. You roll back. Okay, we're going to do that on the other side as well. Swap to the other hand, top on top, the other hand below. And what happens is the arms don't different, differentiate in the space that they make all the way through. So they don't suddenly come closer. They stay at the same distance. Turning the waist. Turn the waist. So here's my navel. Roll back. Yeah. So we've gone from board off. Roll back. Okay. So the person has come past you. They're then going to do a little bit of a turn. They're going to come back. So they've rolled past you. The hand comes over the top. Connects. So again, I've got that space between my arms for a beach ball. So take them past you. The hand which is in front of you, the beach ball, with the beach ball space in between. As it comes here to the side of you, it turns so that the hand faces the body and you're back in that original posture. The same as when we hold hands at the front, we do the Qigong, that sort of posture. Roll back, the hand turns, still have that space. The right hand is going to come over the top. I'm going to turn to look forward as I push my knee forward so that the weight is equally distributed, or 70 40. Um, I'm going to connect. I'm going to do this from the side. So I've done more off, roll back, weights on the back foot, comes over the top. As the knee goes forward, reaches a point no further than your toes, then you make that connection. And the connection is on the wrist, palm is on, on the, between the tendons there. So, ward off, roll back. See my knee is back at the moment, press. 
Let's do this together. So you'll be doing your right hand ward off, roll back. So when you end up with your press, you need to end up with your arms being equally opposite each other and having equal space. What you're not doing is having this one closed and up here. You need to be equal space in between the area in front of your chest. The arms should be equally spaced as well. So having one collapsed and one up is incorrect. So they should be as if they're leaning on a beach ball themselves, one each side. So we have a beach ball in the middle, one under each arm, all at the same size, making everything relaxed, allowing everything to be relaxed. So we'll go from T step. And remember, I'm mirroring you, so you'll have your other hand on top, your left hand on top. You're going to step out, ward off, roll back. Okay, the hand's gonna come over. Press. And, and again. So, T step, step out, heel down, arm rises, turn the back foot. Turn the waist, roll back. Over the top. Press. Hold the ball, T-step with the heel, down, transfer the weight forward, hold, and roll back, over the top, press, one more time. Heel down, the hand rises, as one faces forwards. Roll back, the weight into the back leg. Turn the hand over the top. Press. Okay, so we're finished off here. Your left hand is going to go over the top and make an X and open the arms. Take your weight into the back foot as you bring your hands in. So these are staying fairly level and equal. They're not going down here. They're, so this is a high one. So take the weight to my back foot. I'm going to press down, and then I'm going to put the weight into my left, into, into the forward foot, and push. So from the side, it will look. Left hand will come over the top. Toes come up. So this is important. You don't, don't bring your hands all the way in. Don't raise your shoulders. That's incorrect. They don't come in in here. The arms and elbows don't go behind. They come just in front of you. So if you go any further back, you're going to fall over. Likewise, if you've got someone pushing on your arms, coming in toward you, if you go too far back, you're going to fall over. So if you raise your foot as you push down, come in, come in, come in, push down, and then push forward. You can uproot someone. So hold my thing on. So if a person is coming in toward me, pull them down and then push them away. So if you're pulling down, taking them down, so this will be their arms coming in. Usually folded, is how we practice it with folded arms. So take them down. And then uproot them, pushing them forward. So don't try this at home, folks. Well, you might, but uh, it's probably best not to. <laughs> so the idea is the arms are there. You're taking your body back as far as you can to get out of the way. But in order to stop yourself from falling over, you need to bring your toes up. So they come in, 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 toes up as you press down. I'm sticking my bottom out a little bit. But I'm not collapsing my knee. 
then you put your weight forward. So it's a bit like going over a car wheel, that sort of shape. And then the push, the hands are flat facing forward. Over the top, press down, push. Over the top, as you're getting close, bring the toes up, press down, push. Back, back, back. Oh, break that push. Open forward. See my foot in the mirror. Let's see it in there. Okay. Comes in. Okay. Comes in. As you press, bring the toe up, push, put the toe back down. So making sure that your elbows point to the floor to finish and the knee is not too further than the toes and your shoulders are relaxed. You've got that space under the armpit still. We put all those, those movements together. Hold a walk, step out, ward off. Turn the waist. One hand high under top, one hand below, turn the waist, turn the hand, hand comes over the top, turn the waist forward, press, hand goes over making that X, the parallel, take the weight back, press down, and push forward. Sleep. There you go. Ward off. Roll back. Press. And push. And we need to do it on the other side. So we'll do that. And then we'll put those movements in together. So, one side now, hold the ball, T-step, step out, board off, roll back, press. The other hand slides over the top, press down, and push forward. T-step, hold the board, step out, board off, roll back, press, press down, and push forward, one more, T-step, hold the ball, step out, Board off. Turn the waist to the corner, roll back. Press. Down. And push. Okay, step up. Okay. So we're going to put that on the end of the or we pulse monkeys that we've just done. Section two. So we'll, we'll be going over this again next week. So don't, don't panic. Okay, so we'll go from strung the loot. Pulse the monkey four times. Hand and toe. Put the foot down, push. Arms up. Hand and toe. Push. Arms up. Hand and toe. Almost got a scoot. Arms up. Hand and toe. Push. So from here, I'm turning my foot toward the screen into T step. Turn the waist. Step out. Roll back. 
that's and push again turn the foot to the screen hold the ball in two steps Move off, roll back, press, and push. Step up with the back foot, both hands flat, and in the middle. We've got time to do another one. Okay. Cross the monkey. Three, four, and that foot goes to face the screen. Hold the ball, the side, ward off, roll back, press, and push. Turn the foot toward, close toward the screen, hold the ball. Water off, roll back, press, and push. Step up with the back foot, and down. Ooh, okay, so that's enough for today. Try and practice that if you can. My mat is pondering, so I'm just going to pull it up before I fall and break my neck. Okay, so. Do a few breathing exercises to just uh, be calm, relax a little bit. So we're going to interlock your thumb and your index finger. Okay. What we're going to do, I'll just demonstrate first, is I'm going to step out, opening up the lungs, with those hands being there, and back. So open and close. Okay, so pop your finger and the index finger and your thumb together. Going to step to the front, take a step forwards, and open the arms at the same time, breathing in. And as you close, bring the arms in, the foot in, breathe out. That side. It's a few more times, breathing in. Last one. Okay, so that connects the lung and the large intestine meridians in Chinese medicine together. And opening up these lung points, lung one here, expanding your lungs, breathing in as deeply as you can to uh, ensure that your lungs are expanding and contracting as much as possible. You're going to pop your hands opposite each other. Get that egg under the armpits. If you feel anything between your hands, keep in contact with it. I'm just going to do a little bit more breathing. Don't stop breathing in. We're going to expand and breathing out, contract. Breathing in and breathing out. So I'm breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth. Okay, so that's something you can do as often as you like. Deep breath, deeper breath, you can manage it better. Okay, so we're just going to put the hands down on your belly. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Three times. Okay, a little shake. 